everyone, this is Mustafa from Structure Engineering Basics and today I want to talk to you about columns and beams in structure and the structure engineering uh, point of view. These are structure elements, you found them in pretty much all structures. They play a key role in creating a safe load path for the weight of the structure and all the loads to work their way through the beams and columns and make it safely to the foundations where the building is supported. So beams and columns, they can be made out of the same material, the same shapes, but they're designed differently. And the name refers to the different way of loading or the different stresses they are designed to resist or to carry. So uh, let's start with beams. Beams are usually horizontal elements and they are loaded perpendicular to the lo longitudinal side or direction of the beam. You can think of it as an example, uh, the balancing beam in uh, gymnastics. So this is basically a rectangular shape supported at both ends. And when the athlete or a person is walking on it, their weight, their load is perpendicular to the longitudinal direction of the beam. The main stresses or the main forces this structure element is experiencing is bending or flexure. It wants kind of to bend downward. And that's a key point in the design to understand what are the forces or stresses uh, that work their way through the element uh, that dictates the design. Uh, on the other hand, columns are loaded um, vertically, or they are vertical elements, and they are loaded parallel to the, their longitudinal direction. So if you want to think about it, think of a rectangular table with four round circular legs at each corner. Whatever you put on the table, the weight of the table will work itself out on the top of the table into the vertical legs. And this is basically what a column is. It collects the weight from maybe uh, beams or transfer beams. I'll talk about this in a second. And um, walls into a vertical elements that will collect and accumulatively take the load all the way to the foundations. So when I work with the design of um, uh, beams or columns, uh, let's say for a new project, for a new building, there is usually a, a bit of flexibility in terms of choosing the material. Both beams and columns, they can be built from steel, steel shapes, steel columns, uh, reinforced concrete, masonry. They can actually be built out of concrete blocks or even wood and um, the design depends on the loads on them. Uh, there is one more type that can combine both stresses. You can call it a beam column. Uh, a good example of that, if a column or a vertical structural element that takes the weight of the building at the perimeter, at the edge of the uh, building, uh, and supporting a wall that takes wind load laterally. So in a way, that makes things a little bit complex that you need to account for the axial load working as a column and some lateral wind load that makes the column experience some lateral load like a beam and the structure engineer will have to be careful to this certain type of loading and uh, take a look at it and make sure that the material is safe, the material they choose, uh, the size of the material is sufficient to control deformations. You don't want when the wind hits the wall, it moves uh, too much and at the same time um, the axial load is not going to cause the column to buckle or to break and all that needs to be coordinated with the use and function of the building. So this needs to be coordinated with the architecture design or the design, the use of the building. You don't want columns sticking out in the middle of your space. You want to plan ahead and design for all these uh, conditions. One more um, application that I work with is uh, columns and beams in existing buildings. So due to the age of the building or damage, um, sometimes structural elements uh, need to be repaired. And this is something structure engineers also are capable of doing. Uh, you can um, hire a structure engineer to assess the condition of the building. They can review the loads and the use of the building, work the loads and stresses on existing beams or columns, and uh, do an assessment on any loss of section or loss of capacity. 
and can recommend um, ways to repair it. Uh, if, the is if there is loss in material or loss in capacity, uh, you can add more material, you can clean the existing surfaces and apply bonding agents with new construction grade material and your structure engineer can take care of all of that and provide a report that outlines any concerns for safety, uh, any things that needs to be done during construction and what are the details or the solutions that will restore the capacity back to its uh, original level. And um, usually there is recommendation for a structural health monitoring to keep an eye and um, observe if there is any deterioration or anything that needs to be uh, taken care of. Uh, that's pretty much it, what I wanted to share with you today about beams and columns. And if this information interests you, I want you to check out our uh, ultimate guide for structural engineering basics. I'll put the link below. You can download it for free. It has a lot of really interesting information. And don't forget to subscribe to see our next videos. And I will see you soon next time.